Welcome to another deep dive into the captivating upcoming game Fallen Frontier. Today's focus is to work our way through the ranks of the frigate class ships that we know about so far. From the stealthy shadows of the fast lane to the formidable firepower of the Coventry, the adaptability of the York and the scouting prowess of the Berwick. So join me now as I break down what we found out about these frigates from the latest trailer released from Shutterfox Games. So starting with the largest frigate first, and working our way to the smallest. First up, let's explore the York class frigate. The York class frigate, a vessel measuring an impressive 147 meters in length. This class stands out for its adaptability, featuring three optional module slots that significantly enhance its reconnaissance and engagement capabilities. The trailer does reveal some of the optional modules available. First of all, we can equip our York class frigate with additional sensors. Equipping the York with additional sensors significantly extends its scanning range, making it an ideal candidate for early threat detection and strategic oversight of the battlefield. The increased range can be a game changer for plotting fleet movements and identifying key targets before you move. There's also advanced countermeasures. The inclusion of advanced countermeasures allows the York to effectively cloak its drive signature, making it a slippery target in stealth missions. This module is crucial for approaching enemy lines undetected or escaping from a tight spot. Then there's the forward VLS, the vertical launch system. The forward VLS module adds a powerful offensive option, enabling the York to launch devastating attacks from a safe distance. It's particularly effective in softening enemy positions before a full assault or defending strategic points from incoming threats. Another module, of course, is also the additional side CIWS close-in weapon system. With this module, you're adding two more CIWS slots to enhance the York's defensive capabilities, providing a stronger shield against incoming projectiles and enemy fighters. It's a solid choice for protecting valuable assets or holding critical choke points. We were also able to spot combat and planetary thrusters. Combat thrusters improves the York's maneuverability in battle, allowing for quicker positioning and evasion. Meanwhile, planetary thrusters allow the York to dock on planetary bases. The York class frigate supports two main weapon slots and four close in weapon systems, with the potential to expand to class two CIWSs if the additional side CIWS module is chosen. This versatility in armament allows commanders to equip the York for a balanced role in both offensive and defensive operations. Now let's speculate on the best combinations for various missions. For stealth and reconnaissance, equipping the York with advanced countermeasures, additional sensors and combat thrusters, alongside a mix of railguns for their penetration capabilities and CIWS for defense, would make it an elusive scout able to gather crucial intel without being easily detected. And for an attack mission, the combination of a forward VLS vertical launch system, additional side CIWS for enhanced defense, and a focus on heavy hitting weapons like the Class 3 cannon could turn the York into a formidable initiator of fleet engagements. In my opinion, the York class frigate's strength lies in its adaptability. The right combination of modules and weapons can tailor it for any mission profile, from stealthy reconnaissance to leading the charge in battle. However, the key to maximizing its potential lies in understanding the mission requirements and enemy capabilities, making strategic planning as crucial as the battle itself. As we move down the line of the formidable frigate class ships in Fallen Frontier, we encounter the Coventry class frigate. At 145 meters, the Coventry is slightly smaller than the York, but don't let its size fool you. Known as the Picket Frigate, this vessel brings unique capabilities and configurations to the table, making it an essential component of any strategic fleet composition. The Coventry class stands out for its robust offensive capabilities, underscored by its capacity to host four main weapon slots, a feature that significantly amplifies its firepower. But that's not all, with six close-in weapon slots, the Coventry is a floating fortress ready to defend against any incoming threat. In terms of optional modules, Coventry class frigate has a single optional module slot, but offers versatility through its four distinct choices that we've seen so far at least. This allows commanders to tailor the Coventry to specific tactical roles within the fleet. First of all, there's the docking thrusters, ideal for operations requiring quick deployment or retreat, enhancing the Coventry's agility in docking and undocking maneuvers. Then there's the combat thrusters, which boosts the frigate's combat maneuverability, allowing for rapid positioning and repositioning, which is crucial during intense battles. Then there are the planetary thrusters, like the York frigate, 
These thrusters enable docking with planetary bases. In terms of the main weapons and close-in weapon systems, with its impressive arsenal capacity, the Coventry class frigate can be equipped with a lethal combination of class 3 size weapons, including battle guns, rail guns, and cannons, each offering distinct advantages in combat. The battle gun provides a balanced defensive capability, the rail gun offers superior armor penetration, and the cannon delivers explosive damage for maximum impact. The choice of armaments allows commanders to customize the Coventry's offensive focus based on the mission at hand. So considering its heavy armament capabilities, the Coventry class is an ideal choice for frontline engagements and fleet defence. Equipping it with combat thrusters and a mix of railguns and cannons can make it a formidable adversary in direct combat, capable of piercing enemy defences while withstanding retaliatory strikes. For missions requiring rapid deployment or extraction, docking thrusters could enhance the Coventry's operational flexibility, allowing it to swiftly navigate through contested zones or support allied vessels in need. For me, the Coventry class frigate's strength lies in its formidable offensive and defensive capabilities. Its ability to be outfitted for specific tactical roles makes it a valuable asset in any fleet composition. While it may lack the versatility of the York in terms of optional modules, its sheer firepower and defensive prowess ensures it remains a key player on the battleground. Strategically, I see the Coventry as the backbone of a fleet, capable of holding the line or pushing forward aggressively depending on its configuration. Next in our lineup of frigate class ships is the Fastlane class frigate. Stretching to 138 meters, this vessel is slightly more compact than the Coventry, but it brings its own unique flair to the strategic table. Specialized as a stealth class variant, the Fastlane is a ghost on the battlefield, capable of striking from the shadows and providing invaluable support through its diverse optional modules. With its focus on stealth and precision, the Fastlane class frigate is a testament to the art of war from the shadows. Its design emphasizes minimal detection risk, providing a strategic advantage in reconnaissance missions and surprise attacks. Let's break down its capabilities. In terms of the optional modules, the Fastlane offers three optional module slots, each enhancing its stealth and support roles. Firstly, we glimpsed the crew's missile tubes. This option allows the Fastlane to deliver long-range missile strikes, which can be devastating when coordinated with a forward observer frigate. It's an excellent choice for softening enemy defenses or taking out high-value targets without revealing its position. Then there is the option of advanced countermeasures. By generating drive signature countermeasures, the Fastlane can effectively mask its presence from enemy sensors, making it an elusive target and enhancing its survivability during reconnaissance or stealth missions. Then there's the drone bay. Support drones extend the operational capabilities of the Fastlane providing additional surveillance, repair, or even maybe combat options. This flexibility makes the fast lane an indispensable asset for intelligence gathering and area denial operations. Then we saw the missile bay, which seems similar to the crew's missile tubes, but maybe offers a different tactical approach. The missile bay, anyway, equips the fast lane with a forward-firing vertical launch system. It's perfect for a quick, aggressive strike, adding a punch to its stealthy approach. In terms of the main weapons and close-in weapon systems, the Fastlane class supports two main weapon slots capable of fitting class 3 size weaponry. This includes the versatile options of battle guns, rail guns, and cannons, allowing for customization based on the mission's needs. Its four close in weapon slots ensure that the Fastlane can defend itself against enemy fighters and missiles, maintaining its presence on the battlefield as a silent but deadly force. So, the Fastlane's unique blend of stealth capabilities and optional modules make it ideal for a variety variety of strategic roles. Equipped with advanced countermeasures and cruise missile tubes, it can operate behind enemy lines, gathering intelligence and striking with precision. The addition of a drone bay further enhance its versatility, allowing for extended operations without compromising its stealth. For direct engagements, outfitting the fast lane with a missile bay and focusing on railguns for their armor penetration can make it a formidable adversary even in head-to-head -head confrontations, albeit its strengths lie in its ability to avoid such confrontations altogether. So the fast lane class frigate epitomizes the principle of the unseen blade is the deadliest. Its capacity for stealth and surprise, coupled with its varied optional modules, provides a broad tactical toolkit for any commander. 
while it may not boast the raw firepower of the Coventry or the broad versatility of the York, its ability to shape the battlefield from the shadows offers unique strategic possibilities that can turn the tide of any engagement. Rounding off our deep dive into the frigate class ships of Fallen Frontier, let's turn our attention to the Berwick class frigate. Measuring at 130 meters, the Berwick is the smallest among the frigates we've discussed, but don't underestimate its capability. Designed as the forward observer, this frigate excels in scouting and reconnaissance. Equipped with a suite of enhancements, to extend its operational range and efficacy. The Berwick class is a testament to the adage that good things come in small packages. From what we saw in the trailer, its design prioritizes extended missions behind enemy lines maybe, gathering crucial intelligence while maintaining a low profile. Let's delve into what makes the Berwick an indispensable asset. If the frigates we saw on the trailer are the default configurations. The Berwick comes equipped with increased storage for extended missions, improved sensors for better detection capabilities, enhanced engines for greater maneuverability, and an increased jump drive range for reaching distant locations. This combination makes it an excellent choice for scouting missions where duration and reach are key. In terms of the optional modules, there are two optional module slots. From the modules we've seen so far, there is the Rescue Hangar. This module underscores the Berwick's utility in search and rescue operations, allowing it to recover personnel from the vastness of space or hostile environments. Then there's the Mine Layer, adding offensive capabilities. The Mine Layer enables the Berwick to deploy mines, creating hazards for enemy ships and securing areas of strategic importance without direct engagement. Then there's the targeting system module, which enhances the Berwick's role as a spotter, allowing it to designate targets for allied forces, significantly improving the effectiveness of joint operation. Then there's the forward VLS, the vertical launch system. This system equips the Berwick with a forward firing offensive capability, allowing it to participate directly in combat operations with precision strikes from a safe distance. The Berwick supports two main weapon slots, capable of accommodating class three size weapons, such as the versatile battle gun, the armor penetrating railgun, and the explosive cannon, offering commanders a choice based on tactical needs. Its two close-in weapon slots provide it with a layer of defense against incoming projectiles and enemy fighters, enhancing its survivability. So with its scouting and extended mission capabilities, the Berwick class frigate excels, I think, in gathering intelligence and providing battlefield oversight, equipping it with a targeting system and a mix of railguns or cannons can make it a formidable scout that not only gathers information but also packs a punch. The addition of a mine layer or a rescue hangar can further adapt the Berwick for specific operational needs, from laying traps to conducting search and rescue missions. The Berwick class may be small, but its strategic value in reconnaissance and support operations is immense. Its ability to adapt to various roles through optional modules, coupled with its scouting enhancements, makes it a versatile tool in the hands of a skilled commander. While it might not have the raw firepower of larger frigates, its speed, stealth and utility make it a critical element in any fleet's composition. So as we bring this video to a close, each frigate, from the York to the Berwick, brings its unique strengths and potential for tactical innovation, allowing commanders to craft a fleet that reflects their strategic vision and battle preferences. Whether you lean towards the stealthy engagements of the fast lane, the brute force of the Coventry, the versatile operations of the York, or the critical scouting missions of the Berwick, your choices will dictate the flow of battle and the fate of your endeavours in the vast and forgiving frontier of space. Thank you for joining me for this video. If you enjoyed it, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing and let me know what you think in the comments below. But until next time, take care.